Hello and welcome to Winsloop Academy. So in this part 5 of our Wireshark tutorial, we are going to look at how to set our wireless network card into monitor mode. The monitor mode has been mentioned a few times through this series and basically what the monitor mode allows us to do is to capture packages that are sent over our wireless ne network that we are on, which is not uh, intended for our computer. So what a normal network card is doing when traffic is being tr uh, transferred or packages over a network is to discard all the packages sent from other computers through the router or from the router and to other uh, computers or devices. But when you set your network card into monitor mode, you will allow your computer to capture all these packages so that you can decide what packages you want to discard or investigate further. So. I'm in Kali Linux right now, and I will be using this wireless network card you see right here. It's not important that it is this specific model, but it just needs to be a wireless card that is uh, capable of being set into monitor mode, which this particular card is. So we will be going into the terminal. The way you do this in Kali Linux is basically just to go into the terminal emulator right here, and from here we will be executing our commands. But before we get started, I just need to input my wireless card, which is a USB uh, card. So I'll go up to uh, devices here on the USB, and I will simply just select my card right here. So we get we start by saying sudo, and we'll be typing r1 ng. Oh, and we'll just be typing the password, and this was not the one I wanted to, like so. So, as we see right here, we have our VLAN 0, and the reason why uh, this one got mistyped is because this is using the English keyboard, and my computer is not set to an English keyboard, uh, which is why the keys are misplaced. But you need to type this exact command right here, airmon-ng, and here we see we have our interface, VLAN 0, and we see the model of our card. So before we go further, we just want to make a check to see what kind of processes that could uh, cause trouble in our way of setting this into monitor mode. So once we have seen that there are like these two processes, we just want to kill these. So we can do a check and a kill. And then it has killed the necessary processes for us to, to continue. So with the process being killed, we are uh, ready to start uh, up our uh, interface in monitor mode. So the way that we do this is basically just instead of typing check uh, kill, we type mon-ng and then start and then we land zero because that was the name of our interface. Oh, I typed star, so we'll just say start right here. So now it has started our uh, VLAN interface and we have enabled the monitor mode. And the way that you can also check that this is actually the case is by typing sudo and then iwconfig. And as you see, our VLAN 0 is now postfixed with a mon, which means that the mode is now in monitor mode. So if we open Wireshark right now, and use this interface to capture uh, packages, we'll be able to capture all the packages being sent uh, over the wireless network that we are collected to. However, these will be um, encrypted if they are using the HTTP, uh, HTTPS uh, protocol. But since we are on the same network, meaning that we have the password to the network, we are already one step into decrypting the packages because normally all web, uh, wireless web traffic is encrypted by the router on default using the password to that particular network. But since we are on a network and we have entered that password, we are one layer into the decrypting. And the way that we just uh, stop this uh, interface again, if we want to go back, is just to type stop. And then we just again need the name of the interface, which now has been pre uh, postfixed with a mon, like so. And now we have stopped the monitor mode. And as we see right here, we are no longer in um, the monitor mode. So this is how you can easily set 
uh, wireless interface car up to uh, monitor mode 